What's up guys, it's Moonshine here and we're playing Mass Effect at Dormanda, at Dormanda. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. What are you guys doing? I want to talk to you. Stop trolling around. You must me. be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Here it's in the life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Our Adana's the space and math ways. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But mm -hmm. your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened, and They're I... They're dead. I need to know. I'm just kidding. I'll find them. The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation of young minds. I want to craft a model of the cluster for them, accurate and splendid from your data. My prototype is on that console. Add more scans to improve it, and I will share my educational budget with you. And my thanks. Hell to the year. I'll do that, actually. Hi, Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Hell yeah, you guys Pathfinder. are fucking awesome. Those bio scans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at Alright, where's the Nexus at? Let's look around, do console, there's one. Yeah, I'll donate to you. Alright, where should I donate? Scan on the world mod. Oh yeah, we'll do it. What am I going to do? You're in the forest? What district? Most. Representing in the green belt. Still wrong. Where the hell is the terminal? I couldn't find it. Is it this one? Nope. God. 
Well, I'm not gonna waste time looking for it. If you guys not gonna show it to me, then don't show it to me. Man, you guys are a bunch of assholes sometimes. Oh, is it here? Time for our BN. This place is a mess. Security is. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Kel are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They may all be dead. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Yeah. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Ha <laughs> ha. Pathfinder, I'm feeling less bad about missing a year of this. Everyone's being down. Nothing to do but watch the reserve shrink. And now all eyes are on us. All I know is, we have to fix it. Alright, I'm gonna leave you too. Fine, I'll help you. I don't feel like doing it. What is blue on the map? Is King Bob there or something? Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind mm, our proud it. new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. Yeah, no interested. Fuck off. God damn that. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't know you can zoom in like that. All right, let's go help him. Enough fooling around. Let's go. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're. So it's true. A pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him, please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Where's the jailer, man? I really... Wait a second. Well then, let's just go to our shed hole. Guess I have no choice besides talking to him. Oh, 
right? Nope. I'm not seeing any of your requisitions. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Man, does my character look Rider, like a main character? Rider, KCD and Samnud on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Oh, look, I level up to level 3. Awesome. What is Bionic? Oh, yeah, I, that's why I don't I don't have this ability, right? Where's my health point that I spend? Oh, I never spend it on it. What is Nova? She cannot show boost.
Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. I know what They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. I'll talk to you later. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. You're not a bad person. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening, but not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. Why you sound maybe like I was just being paranoid. <laughs> what is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one. That'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. The panel, goddammit, speakers on all five billion. Oh, I can come here. Sup? Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? <laughs> I expected something like that. I can handle the pressure. Good to hear. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. 
They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their vest is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Wait till I tell her our daddy said by saving my life. Ooh, I'm on arc. Awesome. I don't know how that crap works. Glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the cat. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will do. Chin up. See, talking gives the XP. I got 50 XP. What's up? Oh, you all said circle side quest, dude. Greer, how you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father and Kirkland. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah. It just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but... Kirkland was a friend. And... I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Hmm. Alright, alright buddy, what's your mission? I'm sick of getting a bunch of missions. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Agreed. Everything I do will be for him. I have a pendant to our father war. Dash had its match. Will you... Reunite them. Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Alright, dude. I'm just sick of the side missions. Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yeah, but still, we lost a Pathfinder on my watch. Doesn't sit right. My dad knew the danger. Part of the job. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. Oh, yeah. How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! 
Circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning in the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. Back for a visit? That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. Wait, I might keep getting XP? Back for a visit? That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. Hold on a second, I keep getting XP. Back for a visit? <laughs> That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs> Look, 50 XP on the side. Alright, let it go away. Let it go away. Shoot. Oh, it's stuck there, huh? I glitched up the game now, 50 XP on the side glitching out. I really wanna do, alright this is gonna be a 40 minutes video, I really wanna do some action but I'm not getting into action for a while. Welcome Pathfinder. Please select a topic. I don't know how it's connect to everything, dude. This doesn't make any sense. Well, the game glitched out the hell oh this is a new place is it oh yeah it is No, never mind, it's the same place. What's the latest about Wing? Pathfinder, it's good to see you. Word is there's been trouble on the station. This is the captain. Station's revival team. We're here now. It'll get better. That's what I've been telling people. You're here now. 
As soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mintoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind. But I have friends here too. I love piloting. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but... Someone's gotta keep the positivity coming, right? Why did you join the Initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? I have to go now. See you later. Later. She's the creepiest one. Like, they, they really didn't test out their game, you can't tell. When you're talking, they just move the mounts. Ryder! You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. All personnel should check with their supervisor Thanks. before taking leave. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, yeah. let me know. Now that the Hyperion is docked, what'll you do? Normally, I'd supervise thawing out the colonists, but that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you. Why did you join the initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Buddy. Finally, I can examine things, bro. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. picked it up printed books reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals 
detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I... What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is inaccessible at this time. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most mm. scientists dismiss my work. But I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Thank you, buddy. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... Things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. No, oh, he's hiding more. That log is inaccessible at this time. Alright, fine. Log off. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Not, eh? Not much information to help me out. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Alright, there's nothing much to do, so I think I must scatter now. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'm in the episode here. It's gonna be 40 minutes, I guess. What's this? When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy. When and it they're took dumb centuries and they're... to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. 
While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. When a civilization die, either they die from a disease or for being stupid. Just like human race. If we keep doing if you're gonna damage our planet, we're gonna be instinct in the future. We all know that shit. Alright, let's see. Oh I supposed to be there. Alright, I'm end the episode over here. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.